Welcome back, everyone, to the always creative and optimized world of Emacs and org mode here. Uh, so in today's video, I'm expanding on the topic we started a little while back about using a master node in org roam that uh, just conveniently contains some hyperlinks to projects that you're working on, which are basically just other entries in org roam. So these can be any projects that you're working on, any documents. Um, in this case, these are, are short stories, let's say, for example, that I might be working on. And uh, basically, these are um, items that have been created in org roam. And I just put a hyperlink in here so that I can have these entries to work with in other ways. For example, what we're talking about today is time logging. So I wanted to be able to log in and out of these tasks just to keep track of how much time I'm spending on them. And uh, you know that, that can be good data to have for any number of reasons. But uh, basically, as you all probably know, in order to log into a task to clock in and out and keep track of your time, you need to clock in and out of headings. Um, and as far as I know, you can't really just log into a document itself. Uh, which is fine because I think the headings are uh, are good as an easy way of um, keeping track of these things. So basically, the idea here was, um, as we've talked about before, you can have a clock table or a clock report where basically it displays the time for you. So a uh, great new story uh, I've worked on for an hour and 42 minutes, uh, the creep from the dark, uh, I worked on for an hour and 43 minutes, let's say, for example. So um, yes, this is, uh, this is easy to do. You just clock in and out of the headings and they appear up here. Uh, but then the idea would be, okay, so now this is, this is the file that I check um, so that I can keep track of what I'm working on and just click on the hyperlink to, to keep working on it and then jump into that document and I'm there. Uh, so what about over time, isn't this document going to get kind of cumbersome? Because when I'm finished the story, let's say both of these are done. Okay, I spent three hours and 25 minutes in total. Um, where is a place where I can put these, where I can keep track of all of that without it all being in this one file? Because this is like a working file. It's, it's a file that I'm going to be coming into and out of every day. Don't want it to get bogged down with a lot of entries in it. So um, the idea here would be just to use an archive file. So this is something that org mode provides to you. All you do is your little uh, hash plus, you write archive, and then you put in a file path and these two semicolons here, or actually they're regular colons. So you just put in the two colons and uh, basically I put archive 23 as the name of the file and I put it in the home directory uh, just because in theory, maybe you want these uh, separated by year. So 23 could be for the year 2023. You don't have to do that. But you know, again, you want to think about um, how many instances you'll be working with, because you want this to be, you know, it, it depends on whatever, whatever scope, you know, you want this to represent. So let's say you want to do it by year, it could be anything you want. So basically, once you type this in here, of course, you can either reload Emacs or just do control C, control C, uh, and it says their local setup has been refreshed. So now we've listed archive 23 as the file where these entries are going to be stored. So now we don't need the clock report in this file anymore. So let's say we're done with these stories, control C, control X, control A, that's the, the key binding, you could bind that to whatever you want. So now I have archived those uh, subtrees, those headings basically into the archive 23 file. So now when I go to archive 23, here they are. This is this is our archive file. Uh, new entries will be added on the bottom each time. So let's just give it a title, uh, 2023 archives. And of course we can bring in our clock report and uh, there it is. So now whenever I'm in my, my main master node in org Rome that's keeping track of the files that I'm working on, I can just come in and, you know, if, if there is going to be a, a new story, uh, let's give it a heading. Um, we'll call it the haunted refrigerator. I can just put in a new node here. The haunted refrigerator. It's a short story. 
capture it captured all right so now so now this uh this master node basically is kept clear it's only going to have new projects that are actively being worked on and uh, i can just clock into this and um and now it's keeping track of my time as well so there you go that is how you can use the archive file to basically take things out of your your active node and put them into long-term storage let's say and of course those those documents themselves those stories are still saved in org rome so if i want to just visit them you see a uh, great new story is right there it's still saved in the same place it's still managed in org rome so you could have it for reference the stuff that we stored is basically like just the just the heading where we were clocking in and out to keep track of time so yeah basically that's about it well, that's it for this demonstration. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And if you want to read my writings that are too hot for YouTube, you'll find a link to my Substack in the description. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll see you all next time.